Hi there students. In this video I wanted to look at the concept of diplomatic immunity and also the diplomatic bag or diplomatic pouch as it's also called and the diplomatic courier who goes with the diplomatic bag. Firstly diplomatic immunity means that diplomats, these are people who work in embassies in other countries, um, they are exempt, they are the law of that country um, does not apply to them. For example, they don't have to pay, pay tax, they're exempt um, from the uh, laws of uh, the country where they are. So the um, British ambassador in uh, America um, has is immune. He's, he can't be prosecuted uh, for m most things uh, that he does in the United States. Yeah, he's immune to American law. This also, this concept of diplomatic immunity also applies to um, his family and the people who work for him in the embassy and their families as well. This generally means there that you can't search them, you can't arrest them, you can't uh, tax them either. Yeah, and this is for th these people and their dependents, the family, their direct family who live with them. Okay, now we have the concept of the diplomatic bag or the diplomatic pouch. This is mail or, in theory, letters which um, are sent from the home country to the embassy or vice versa and um, the diplomatic bag it's not necessarily a bag it can be any container that's actually marked as a diplomatic pouch it you um, can't it cannot be stopped and searched and it's not subject to customs yeah, customs and excise. So you can actually uh, import or export anything as long as it's um, it, it's to, to do with the um, the work of the embassy. And clearly, there have been many misuses, and there are many misuses of this. Um, for example, the uh, diplomatic bags have been used to uh, smuggle drugs. Um, they've been used to smuggle um, weapons and things like that as well. For example, during the uh, war with Argentina, the Falklands War, um, I believe Argentina sent mines to their embassy in Spain with a plan to affix these mines to British warships in the dockyard at Gibraltar. This was later stopped, but there has been there there's been all sorts there have been all sorts of incidents of misuse of the diplomatic pouch. Um, but the, this uh, the diplomatic immunity applies to anything in this diplomatic pouch. Now the diplomatic courier is the person who um, accompanies this, who goes with this, yeah, um, and not, not this person, the diplomatic courier, is also um, has diplomatic immunity. He can't be stopped, he can't be searched, uh, and things like that. Um, the concept of diplomatic immunity is to um, allow um, members of um, 
embassies and uh, diplomats um, the freedom to do what is considered normal within their country and normally this is on a bilateral basis I let you do it and you let me do it and this should conform to the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relationships which sets out the framework for um, diplomacy and friendly relations among governments um, however not everybody uh, uh, obeys this and not all the time is it obeyed um, let's see if a diplomat has diplomatic immunity one of the things a country can do is to declare this per this a person persona non grata and expel them from the country they can't actually arrest them though yeah um so effectively they if they get a parking ticket they don't have to pay it and that's one of the things with diplomatic number plates on your car yeah you don't get speeding tickets you can drive drunk you can do anything clearly this is not good and this is not for good relations yeah but um this should be used for things that are related to diplomats role yeah is what they're supposed to do um so diplomatic immunity the diplomatic bag yeah it's well it's like a get out of jail free card um let's see formality I think all of these this is talking about um, international law I think I'm going to give it a six in formality um, but I think you could probably use it anywhere because it describes exactly what it is so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon bye for now Diplomatic immunity, the diplomatic bag, a diplomatic pouch and a diplomatic courier.